Uh, do you have the sniffles or feeling a little tired? It is flu season and many areas are getting hit hard. You okay, Lauren? <laughs> I'm hanging in there. All right. First <laughs> news meteorologist Brian Ivey looks at a few ways you can try to avoid catching the bug. Brian? We definitely hope Lauren's going to be getting better here soon. And many <laughs> people here at WKBN have been sick recently, and that's probably true for many of your workplaces as well. Cases of the flu are up this year, with Ohio seeing an increase in influenza hospitalizations. Reported cases shot up over the last couple weeks in PA, too. Influenza is now widespread across the state. So what can you do to stop the spread? If you want to increase your chances of not getting sick, then cover your coughs. Always wash your hands often. And also, clean surfaces that get touched by several people. If you do get sick, then stay home while you're contagious. Getting a good night's sleep, exercising, and eating healthy also helps make your immune system stronger. Now what about flu shots? Is it too late to get one? The answer is no. It's never too late to get the flu shot. It's certainly not too late now. Uh, it does take about two weeks for the body's immune system to fully um, take in the flu vaccine. So you're still susceptible to getting the flu during that period. CDC says it's important for pregnant women people 65 or older, or people with chronic medical conditions to get the flu shot. You can get the flu shot at minute clinics, pharmacies, and your family doctor. Now, not all strains of the flu are covered by this year's vaccine, so it's not the perfect solution. If you get the flu, make sure to get to the doctor, drink lots of fluids, and also get your rest. Reporting live in the studio, Brian Ivey, 27 First News this morning.